Hello again, scientists. All right, for our next experiment, for this experiment, we are doing one called pepper scatter experiment. Um, and this is again building on something that we've already done in class. Uh, we did an experiment where we had milk, um, food coloring, and dish soap. And we got to watch the dish soap um, spread out, kind of run away from, no, sorry, the food coloring run away from the dish soap. So I mentioned that um, part of what was going on there is that the dish soap is breaking the surface tension. We're going to do a very similar experiment, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about surface tension. So surface tension is when you have a liquid, the top layer of that liquid is essentially working harder to stay together. So it creates this tension on the top and it makes kind of a layer. Um, a really good example, and we'll probably do this in class at some point, is if you fill a cup up with water, and you know when you fill it up a little too far and it kind of makes that bubble of water, like it looks like it should spill over, but it hasn't yet, there's surface tension. All that water is trying really hard to stick together and it's creating a tension on top. So you can actually get your water to go above the rim of this cup because it's staying together. Um, so that is surface tension. We'll probably come back around to that a couple more times. Um, but we're gonna do another experiment where we're breaking the surface tension. So how that water is trying to stay together really tight, we're gonna use dish soap and it breaks it. Um, dish soap is very cool that way. So we are going to need for this experiment, some kind of bowl to put your water in. I'm using a pie tin, a, it's not a tin, a pie pan. Um, any kind of bowl will work. You just need enough space to be able to put things in it, put some dish soap in it and see if it spreads out. So grab a pie tin or a bowl, anything to put your water in. I've put, I've filled this about halfway because I'm gonna need to take it back to the sink and pour it out and I don't wanna spill everything on my way. And once you get your bowl or pie tin, your water, you're going to want some dish soap. And then you're going to want to find a few other things to put on top of the water. So you're going to want things that float, which ties into our last experiment. So for me, I have cinnamon. I am pretty sure that cinnamon is going to float on top of my water if I put it on carefully. I also have pepper <laughs> that normally would float, but we saw when I did a clump, it sunk. So I'm going to, I'm gonna pour my cinnamon into my hand so that I can spread it out here. Um, salt, I have some more finely ground salt. So the first step we're gonna do is we're gonna to try to find things that we can make a layer on top of our water. My cinnamon is working very well. I am also going to try a little bit of my salt. If you find something that you put on here and it sinks to the bottom, um, actually I'm not going to do that salt yet. I'm going to stick with cinnamon because I know it's going to float. So I'm going to put a little drop of my dish soap and we can guess what's going to happen, right? It's going to break the surface tension and the whatever is floating on top is going to spread away just like our food coloring did in our milk. So one drop broke away. Okay, after you've done this with something, um, you're going to want to, just like we did in class, you're going to want to take this and scrub it out so you don't have soap on it anymore. And then we're going to try something else. So I happen to have another pie tin right here. So I can just start over. So I want to put 
I'm going to put salt. Yeah, I was worried about that. That's actually going to sink to the bottom. What about my pepper? If I am careful to spread it on top. There we go. Now it stays. No clumps like last time. Okay. And I am going to, for this one, I want to add other things. I want to be curious and see what happens. I'm going to put some feathers. Do I think that the dish soap pushing, breaking the surface tension is going to be enough to push my feathers around? So you can see where this is going. We're going to experiment. We're going to try different things. Um, and even do our soap from different places or different amounts of soap. You can see I'm just pouring it in. Uh, like we did in class, if you wanna get a cotton swab or something and put it in a cup to dab it in, you're welcome. Two, I'm just gonna put a drop in over here on the side and it pushed everything. So what else can you try and what do you find? So I discovered with that, even though I had already broken the surface tension a little bit by putting salt through the water, it still came back together to form that tight bond. Um, the water molecules, remember I said we were gonna keep talking about molecules. The molecules um, that water is made up of are hugging together very tight. So they continued to hug together, they came back together, and I still got to see what happened when I put that in there. So I have done this. I am wondering now, since there's already been soap in here, what happens if I put something that I know will sit on the surface of my water and put more soap? So I know that this cinnamon will normally sit on the top. What happens if I sprinkle it on here? Uh, it's acting a little odd. It's clumping together. And that's kind of a discussion for another day that has to do with the dish soap glomming onto fatty acids. Um, so I know that the dish soap is trying to get to the get to the cinnamon. That's a whole different discussion, but very interesting, right? So I spread it on there like I did the first time and it sort of clumped together. Now I wonder if I put more dish soap in here, if it will still spread out or because there's already some soap, if it will stay together. Let's find out. It worked a little bit. It pushed a little bit. What if I put a bunch? Nope. So it moved a little bit when I put some in there, but that surface tension is broken with the soap in there and it's not doing anything. Very, very, very interesting. So that is it for that experiment. It is basically just playing with soap and water and finding out what it will move, what it won't move, um, what works best and what interesting things you find out from being curious and playing with this stuff. All right, I will see you next week. Bye.